Remember an old saying, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Hi and welcome to Lifestyle with Dr. Taha. In today's program, we will talk about screening. Getting checked regularly by your primary healthcare physician is very important. We have different screening programs going on when it comes to women's health. We have divided today's program into three segments, women's health, general health, and kids' health. But basically, we are here for all the women today. You are beautiful, and your healthy lifestyle is also very important for you. This program is all about your awareness, about screening, and how to know what is going on inside your body. Your physical and mental health is also very important for yourself, for your healthy lifestyle. First of all, we'll talk about screening when it comes to breast cancer. All the women age 40 and above need to do breast mammography every year in order to prevent breast cancer. Breast cancer is prevailing in our society. Every one out of three women are having this problem. If we can detect breast cancer at an early stage without any invasive pathophysiology, without lymph nodes being involved, we can have a better result. First of all, I will tell you about what you need to do by yourself. Monthly checkup, breast self-examination is also very important. Self-breast examination in your 20s and 30s. Monthly checkup, you can do it all by yourself. How? Just five to six days before your periods. If you find any lump or any abnormal mass while you do your monthly self-examination, you have to notify this to your primary care physician. At the same time, mammography, which is a kind of an X-ray, can be done yearly at starting at the age of 40. When it comes to screening, cervical cancer is also prevailing in our society. We just need to do after 21 years of age, every three years of pap smear could help preventing cervical cancers. We have human papillomavirus vaccines available for the women aging 26 and younger than 26 years of age. For those who have high sexual risk factors, cervical cancer screening can be started at much younger age. When we talk about women's health, we should never forget about osteoporosis. It is a medical condition where we are losing bone mass. Osteoporosis can be prevented in a woman of premenopausal age by using an adequate amount of vitamin D. Vitamin D supplementation is also a very important factor that plays a vital role. Human body can make only one vitamin, that is vitamin D. But in order to have enough amount of vitamin D for the women's health, osteoporosis can be prevented by taking enough amount of vitamin D in the form of fortified milk. At the age of 65 or less than 65 years of a woman, they have bone problems that is directly related to osteoporosis. Sometimes hip fractures, half of the women who brought, us to, who brought to us with hip fractures, they have osteoporosis. So the screening for osteoporosis is also very important. When it comes to 65, after 65 years of age, DEXA, which is called dual energy x-ray, it can be done for the women and this is the screening for osteoporosis. In the women aging 50 or more, half of the break of bone is because of osteoporosis. And fortunately, we have the prevention of osteoporosis in the form of screening tests, which I have pointed out, we call it DEXA. We should never forget about skin cancers. The type of mole or any pigmentation you have is changing in color, size, and the shape. You need to mention it to your primary care physician as soon as you can. We'll talk about the skin cancer, melanoma, 
and non-melanoma skin cancer. If you have any mole or any depigmentation or any pigmentation on your skin, and if you see any change in color and size, and if it is like kind of angry looking or if it is like kind of benign looking, you need to notify this change in your skin color of your mole to your primary care physician. We should not forget that the change in the color and size of your mole is also directly related to your sun exposure. So sun screening is also very important in this regard. Use of sunscreens is also very important in order to protect any kind of skin cancer. Today in this program we are talking about women's health and in general high blood pressure is also a big risk factor for all kind of heart attacks, strokes and even cancers and it, it plays an important role. We need to get our blood pressure checked on every visit of our primary care physician. The normal blood pressure is 120 by 80. 120 is systolic and 80 is diastolic. If it is 140 and 90, it is borderline high blood pressure. If it is more than that, it, is, it comes under high blood pressure. It needs to be checked regularly by your healthcare professional or you can get it checked by any pharmacy like Walgreens or, or Walmart. High blood pressure is directly related to weight gain or obesity and it is directly related to diabetes as well. High blood pressure and high cholesterol level. All these kind of things could be harmful for your health. If you have familial history of high blood pressure in your parents, you need to get it checked as early as you can. We are talking here about high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a very dangerous situation. When you, once you have checked your blood pressure at home or at any pharmacy or doctor has uh, seen a uh, blood pressure uh, which is more than uh, 140, 90 or it is more than 120 by 80, uh, it needs to be regularly check, uh, checked by a primary care physician. At the same time, if you are a smoker, uh, you need to quit smoking at this time. Uh, because the combination of smoking and the high blood pressure and high cholesterol uh, is, is very deadly. And without any alarming symptoms, you could have stroke or heart attack. We should also keep in mind about high cholesterol level. If you have genetically or familial to high cholesterol level cholesterol actually what it causes it causes a plaque it causes a plaque in your arteries and it clogged the arteries and uh, when it clogs the arteries you could uh, it could lead to an lead to stroke or uh, heart attack and uh, as i mentioned uh, in my earlier uh, opening statement uh, that uh, the combination of a smoke uh, smoking history, uh, high blood pressure, and a cholesterol, these three, uh, this combination is very deadly. Uh, so sometimes it is purely genetically familial uh, hypertension, and uh, sometimes uh, hypercholesterolemia, which is high cholesterol level, is also genetic. But uh, most of the time, uh, we could prevent it by early detection, by early screening, and uh, what we can do, we can stop uh, uh, the illness at this time uh, when it is not causing any uh, disastrous uh, effect on our body. High cholesterol checkup is also very important. Uh, you need to get fasting of 12 hours normally, uh, which is overnight fasting. And in the morning, in the fasting state, you could get your LDL, that is low uh, density lipoprotein, which is a kind of a lousiest uh, uh, cholesterol, a bad fat. If it is higher uh, than normal, uh, it could be uh, reported to the primary care physician. Diabetes is also prevailing in our society because of it is directly related to obesity and a lifestyle 
uh, which we are following, which is not healthy at all. Uh, this program is all about awareness of healthy lifestyle. So the combination of uh, high blood pressure, smoking and high cholesterol level plus the sugar intake is very high is related to directly related to obesity. All these factors could be harmful and detrimental to our physical and mental health. So we need to stop it by our regular checkup. If, we, if you are uh, genetically or familial, if you have familial history of uh, all these uh, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia and diabetes, plus you have an, uh, like kind of a smoking history or any addiction to any kind of alcohol, uh, you need uh, to get uh, your uh, cholesterol level and uh, sugar level needs to be checked up regularly and it needs an overnight fasting of 8 to 12 hours. Uh, for your blood sugar level, after an overnight fasting, in the morning the fasting blood sugar level can be checked. At the same time we can do HbA1c as well. Uh, that would show us for your, uh, your last six months of your uh, sugar level and uh, these can be checked at the same time.